Hello, coaches. Today, we're going to talk about setting up your questionnaire form before a client gets on a discovery call with you to set them up and you up for success, hopefully with them saying yes to you. All right, I am Krista Kathleen. I am a professionally certified life coach and business mentor, and I work with women who are ready to start and grow their online life coaching businesses. So let's first dive into, you know, why would you set up a questionnaire form? And I'm going to actually really quick share with you my process that I use and feel free to model what I have and, and pick and choose. You don't have to do exactly as I do if it doesn't feel right and that's totally fine. But I do realize that when you're new and you're first starting out, it's really helpful to see how other people do things. And even if you're experienced too, it's just really nice to, again, see what other people are doing and, and I'm happy to share. And I found that this way works really well for me. I've been running my coaching business since 2016. I've had a lot of pitfalls and setbacks with this process. So it feels really good when you find something that works. So first of all, how a majority of my clients find me is through my Facebook group, Build Your Life Coaching Biz, or through my YouTube channel, or through my website or referrals. And so with those first three, I always have a link in there where they can book a free 30 minute discovery call with me. And I, I use the acuity scheduler for that. And then after that, it shows up in my email that someone booked a discovery call with me. And then I email them, thanking them for booking a call. And, and I send them my link for them to fill out the questionnaire form. And then from there is when we usually get on a call together. So it's like a three-step process. Okay, so that's how I do it now and it works really well. So now let's talk about again, kind of like why it is important to have someone fill out a questionnaire form before they get on the discovery call with you. So first of all, is it, it really does help the client show up prepared and to know what to expect and also for you to know how to show up for the client as well. And also it helps you to know how to be prepared for possible objections that might come up on the call too. Also, I have a space where I ask for the client's website and their social media channels and it allows me to do a little bit of background research so that way I can really you know already like do an assessment before I get on the call with client and tell them like hey I, I see that you offer this service that's amazing that's great like it just makes them feel really good and special and like I, I care and I'm paying attention because I am I, I want to know what they're up to and what they've already been doing before they get on the call with me. It's also a really efficient use of your time as well, because for me back in the day, it used to take me like 60 minutes or longer to host a discovery call. And now I can get it down to 30 minutes or less, which is like a win-win for both you and the potential client. It's also like an initiation process as well, right? Like it's interesting to see how people show up. And if people are like, oh, I'm not going to fill this out then why would you want to get on a discovery call with them, right? Like what I found is that people who take the time to fill out the questionnaire, they're more likely to show up to the call. They're not going to ghost you. They're more serious about working with you and, and taking this work seriously. And then I used to attach my questionnaire form to my scheduling link. I don't do that anymore because people, what can happen is people want to quickly book a call. And then if they have to fill out all these questions, they're like, oh, I'll come back later and do that. And then they forget to book the call. So I do think it's like, make it simple and easy as possible for someone to get a call booked with you on the calendar. And then later send that questionnaire form over a step two. So let me share my screen and I am going to show you what my questionnaire form looks like. So take lots of notes and um, write down the questions that you like and then you feel free to model them and you know use them as your own. So here is my questionnaire form. I like to use Google Forms for this. It's really easy to use. 
And at the top, I explain why I'm doing this questionnaire because adults like to know why they need to do things. So it says the following questions are designed to help me to get to know you on a deeper level and understand how I can best support you and your goals prior to getting on our first call together. And then I ask for their email address, their full name and their phone number. This is what I was talking about earlier, I like for them to put their website and their social media channels so that way I can just do a little bit of research and get connected with them on social media right from the start. And then how did you hear about me? What made you decide to schedule a discovery session? It's really important to know where people are showing up from. And for me, most of the time, it's my YouTube channel. So that way you know where to spend more time creating content and to focus on your marketing. And then again, you really, it's important for them to understand too, like why they truly know why they're on the call. I've had it happen before where people get on a discovery call and they're like, I don't even really know why I'm here. And then it's, there's just no way that that's going to be a potentially good client. Like you really want someone who's like, yep. I've researched you, I, I know what life coaching's about, I feel like I need a life coach in my life at this time, these are the reasons why. When you can get someone who shows up prepared like that, that is gonna be such an easy yes if you feel like it's a good fit to work with them. Then have you ever worked with a life or business coach before? If so, how is that experience for you? It's really important for me to know if someone's worked with a coach before, because a lot of times people haven't had good experiences with coaching programs or working with a coach. So it lets me know how to handle that possible objection of them being worried about maybe not getting results this time if they felt like they didn't get results before. It also lets me know how to like talk to them as well. I don't want to talk to someone who's never worked with a coach before, the same as someone who's been working with a coach for five years now. And then what is your current biggest challenge related to your life and business? Again, it's, it's helpful for both of us if they really understand their pain points and what they need help with. Uh, as coaches, we honor our clients as the expert. They are the expert in their own life. They have all the solutions. So I shouldn't be the one saying, okay, this is what's wrong with you. <laughs> this, is, this is why we need to work together. Like I want them coming to me as much as possible, telling me why they want to work with me. What would you love to accomplish in your life and your business over the next three to six months? Again, I want to get them into possibility. I don't want to focus just on what's wrong or what doesn't feel good, but also what's possible to create as well. That's really what motivates people to say yes to working with a coach and investing or is thinking about the results that they're going to accomplish. So that's good to have them thinking about that ahead of time. And then what do you think is the number one thing keeping you from reaching the level of success you desire? Now remember, there's something getting in the way. If there wasn't, they wouldn't be on the call with you or they wouldn't be scheduling the call with you. So if you guys can identify that right from the start of what is the number one thing getting in the way, then it makes it so much easier to tell where you can explain to them how to put a plan together to help them to get there. Because that's what they're hiring you for is the to help bridge the gap between where they're at and where they want to be and, and you help to co-create that plan with them and then why are you interested in talking with me specifically again there's a lot of coaches out there that people can hire so i'm genuinely curious why does someone want why did they book a call with me i think that's really important to know and then on a scale of one to ten how important is it for you to achieve the results that you desire right now so I really think, honestly, for me, I don't want to work with anyone that's less than an eight at this point. I don't want to be more excited and passionate about helping them than they are about helping themselves. That's, I've seen, I've had that happen before in the past. I've seen that happen with a lot of coaches as well. It is it's so important for the potential client to be in the state of readiness to let in support and ready to do the work to really make this coaching relationship work out. And this will help to tell you where they're at with that. Then what fears or objections do you have about hiring a life and business coach? Be real. The more honest you are, the better I can support and guide you. Again, just be, just, it's, it's good to be upfront. It's, uh, it's good. It's good for them to be honest upfront because 
most 99% of the time, there is going to be fears that people have about working with a life and business coach, whether it's the first time they're working with a coach or it's the first time they're working with you. And then what additional information do you feel is important for Krista to know? <laughs> so again, any, anything that we can figure out ahead of time before we get on the call is helpful and useful. And then have you visited my website yet? If not, I highly recommend it so we can get to know each other more. Please take a quick look here. And if they haven't seen my website yet, then I really like for them to go there for a couple reasons. Reason number one is I want them to get to know my story, right? So if they understand like more about my background and who I am and like the type of energy and coaching that I'm going to bring, then it's going to be a better fit. I don't want to shock anyone on the call. I'm a very spiritual person. I'm a very open person. And I'm also very, I've, I've chosen a life for myself that, I mean, I'm writing a whole book about this, Beyond the White Picket Fence, Breaking Out a Life That Others Expect You to Live. I'm, I'm all about doing things your own way, your own terms. And if someone comes to me and they're super religious and conservative, then they might find a conflict in our morals and our value system. And, and that could be, that could very much get in the way of a coaching relationship. So again, I think it's really important for someone to know your story ahead of time. And that's why this about me page is really important on your website. And if you don't have a website yet, which is okay, I didn't the first six months of running my coaching business. You can just, you can have a Facebook business page with, which you can create within minutes and have an opportunity to put your story on there. And then also probably the next page they're going to go to is my coaching packages, I would assume, because they're going to, and this is a big hot topic is do you put your prices on your website or not? I personally love to put my prices on here because I don't want to create sticker shock for someone on a call. I personally like to know what a coach costs before I get on the call with them. I want to be as prepared as possible. So if I know that works for me, I know my ideal clients, they're probably going to want the same thing. So I have right from the start here, the two different ways for us to work together for business mentoring. So the virtual intense, intensive session and then the nine month package here. So again, there's no surprises. It's upfront, it's transparent. It feels great for me. You might not agree, you might not wanna do this. Some coaches decide not to do this because they're afraid that they could lose potential clients who look at this and say, oh, there's no way I can afford that. And sometimes what happens is people will take themselves out of the game before even meeting you. And I have had that happen with the situation. I do believe in the power of helping to prepare someone as much as possible before they get on a call with you. And I do think it's a great idea to just have this up front. I like to say, think of it at like a restaurant. At a restaurant, you sit down, they give you the menu. There's your options. There's the prices. The waiter comes up. You say, I want this, this, and this. You have an idea of already what it's going to cost. I want that same type of an empowered experience in my business. And then at the end here, I just let them know what to expect next. So thank you so much for scheduling a discovery call with me and taking the time to fill out this questionnaire. I will review your questions prior to our call. I'll call your phone number at our designated appointment time. If you need to cancel due to an emergency, please text me as soon as you can. Thanks. Just a little background information with that. For years, I used Zoom and Uber conference to do my video calls for discovery calls. And I found that a majority of people were always waiting for me to call them. And a lot of times they wouldn't get onto the video call or they couldn't find the link, even though I, I put it in their information when they booked the call. And so I've just found that it's easier. It's easier for me to call them. I already have their phone number. I have it here and I also have it in my acuity scheduler when they schedule. And it just makes, so there's no, 
you know, there, there's no mishap, there's no overlap there. So that's why I do that. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that that was useful and valuable for you. And remember that any questions that you have, you can, you know, add it, add it below in the comment section. I'll come back and I'll answer them for you. I, you know, use me as a resource here to help you with your coaching business. I, I'm honored to do that. And then also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that way you can get notified each week when I upload new videos. So I want you to be able to have as much support as you can with running your coaching business. You deserve that. All right. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and enjoy being a coach. Okay. Bye. Thank you.